Hi, this is Vicky Romaine. Cheerful greetings. And today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you a technique using Vaseline. It's been a while since I've made a video because I ended up in the hospital. And after that, they sent me over to rehab. And then when I got home, the only thing I wanted to do was sleep. So I've been about two months now since I've done a video. So bear with me if I'm a little slow. Also, some of my stuff is old. I mean, it is old. I pulled out my Vaseline here, and look at that, 89 cents. I wonder how much it's selling for now. I better keep this jar as a, because it's an antique. Okay, we're gonna be using some Vaseline today, as you can tell. Uh, I have a piece of cardstock shiny on both sides and somewhere here I have a little brush let's see if I can find my brush okay this is the stamp I have it's a clear stamp and it's kind of old too it's turned kind of yellow and some stamps will and I'm going to take my cardstock out of the box so I can stamp Okay, now that I'm almost organized, I'm going to get some Vaseline here. Got my sponge brush. And I'm just going to lightly put some Vaseline. Put some Vaseline lightly on my stamp. I just want it to have a nice coating. Now, when you get through with your stamp, if you have some down um, detergent, use the detergent to clean your stamp completely. After I stamp a couple of um, times, I go back and put some more Vaseline on my sponge and then put it on the uh, stamp. I have some of my flowers going off the paper. Which is a good idea. Okay. Now what after you use your stamp what you do is wash it with some dawn detergent or what other, other kind of detergent you might have. Okay, after that, I have some alcohol ink. First, let me get rid of my Vaseline. I put my paper inside my box so I won't put my fingers into the Vaseline. The 
first one here is called Danger. Another one, this next one is called Red Pepper. Let's see, and other was Danger, okay. And then we have um, this one, I can't tell the name of it. I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, sun, oh, Sunshine Yellow. The next one is um, Meadow. This one is called Stream. And this one is called um, Sunset. Sunset Orange. some alcohol here. I'm going to put on it. Okay, what I have done here, I put a lot of alcohol ink on the, my piece of paper because I want the color to be light, even though there are some dark spots. But you can see what the Vaseline, Vaseline did. It fixed the um, stamp so it would resist the alcohol ink. And I've pretty much got the colors like I want it. Um, probably do a little more blowing. I can't remember which end I had. Well, we'll go with this one. And you can see that some of the stamping was done off the page. Now, what I'm going to do is let this dry, and then I will show you what I'm going to do with the piece of cardstock. But I'm very well, uh, I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Now I'm going to quickly make a, a second background. This time I'll be using 
a dragonfly stamp and I'll be using different shades of uh, alcohol inks. Okay, we're gonna do um, this, this technique again and I'll try to do it just a little faster. I'll get my sponge brush and go over my stamp. You don't want to go down in the grooves. You just want to lightly hit the top. Sometimes you have to go over it a couple of times to make sure you've got the Vaseline on good, on the um, cardstock. Okay, and don't forget you need to use your Dawn soap if you have some to clean your um, stamp and to clean your brush. And while you're shopping, see if you can find another 89 cent Vaseline. Bet you can't. Okay. Now I did not stamp while this was in the box because it wouldn't have been uh, even. For this uh, Example, I'm going to use my purples and greens this time, uh, so my color scheme will be a little different. This is uh, Mermaid. I'm gonna take my straw. I'm gonna stop with the stop with these colors. And I'm gonna take my straw and blow my colors around. Okay, here is my finished piece. I put uh, some more alcohol on it and some more um, ink, and I think it turned out right pretty. Now the thing I need to do is let it dry. And I'll show you what I did with both pieces. Okay, what I'm doing now is rubbing the top of each of the dragonflies. Now, I do not like this one quite as well as I do the first, the, quite as well as the first one, because this is very ornate and the, um, it's just not as clear, but it clears up when you uh, wipe over it. So well, let's see what I can make with this one. Okay, here's some of the cards I have made using the backgrounds that I made with the Vaseline and the stamp. Uh, I'm gonna show you this one first. This card is not finished, of course, uh, but I, I used a piece on the inside and I stamped on it and I let the um, ink on my uh, stamp uh, dry a while before I touched it because the paper is slick paper. But I'll put something similar on the front. What I might do is take this same stamp and just stamp it in black uh, around it as a hodgepodge. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm thinking about that. Having it black and white and then open it up to the color. Okay, that's that was my leftover piece. Here's one that says, uh, get well soon. I put some stickles in the middle of the flower to kind of give it a little bling and uh, stickles down the banner. And then I have already stamped on the inside. On this one, I added a little lace. This was the second pattern I made. Uh, I added a little lace and put a thank you on that. And on this particular one, I'm going to handwrite a message. This is the first one I did when I got through um, making my background. And I like the way the 
uh, this is kind of like plastic lace and it is sticky and uh, a friend gave that to me so I, I have bunches of this uh, different patterns and all but I think it looks gives it a little frill to my background and this is one of the last loops I made this is just a piece of scrap I put the lace on both sides and have the scraps down the middle and uh, this one opens this way uh, the one here is like this or like this. It depends on what kind of um, stamp you're gonna use on the inside as to what direction. And this one opens up this way. And uh, as I said, this will have a handwritten message. And I do a lot with um, people in our church who are in the hospital. And this is one of the the uh, get well cards that I did. I hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial and seeing my cards that I made. Uh, I try to make each one a little different. Um, and if you will notice the image that I use is going different directions, especially the um, dragonfly. Some of it's upside down, some it's sideways. This one goes up. And when I cut the pattern, I didn't really worry about how it was facing, which way they were facing. But in any case, I hope you enjoy the tutorial and the cards that I've made. In the meantime, have a great, ha a great crafting day, and don't forget, please subscribe. Bye.